Hi everyone, thank you for joining in. I would like to present you my review of Zoom F1 field recorder and some accessories. So without further ado, let's start from unboxing. I would like to start from this little guy. As you can see, it is very simple packaging, basically contains only mount itself. Nice solution, works well and completely recyclable. Looking close at mount itself. Makes good impression of quality product. Moving on to the next chapter. It would be unboxing of the F1 LP field recorder and lavalier microphone. As you can see over here, pretty simple packaging with transparent plastic cover. Classic, not much more to say. This box contains recorder itself, lavalier microphone, pack of microphone caps, belt clip, microphone clip, batteries, as well as pack of instructions and capsules overview folder. In short, this box contains all you need to make high quality audio recording on the location. So let's take a look closer. BSF1 belt clip, Comes in complete with a little screw. MCL1 microphone clip made out of hard, high quality plastic. Three pieces of WSL1 windscreen. Alkaline batteries. LMF2 lavalier microphone. It has a good quality 1.6 meter long cable with Sennheiser type screw mount. As you can see over here, microphone itself made out of metal with a little protective mesh on top. Let's take a closer look at recorder itself. It has very nicely made high quality in and outputs. On the left side is volume control and batteries compartment. From the right side we've got micro SD card slot. According to Zoom there's a limit to 32 GB class 4 or higher SD micro cards. Here goes the belt clip screw in. Here you can see proprietary Zoom capsule connector built in metal frame. Very well made piece of gear. It constructed out of metal frame surrounded by molded hard plastic. It's quite sturdy. I'm sure it will survive some hard times during recording session. I read many complaints from users online about quality of battery compartment assembly, but I have to say that I didn't experience any problems with it. It is small and kind of feebly, but all you have to do is just make sure that this little lever is staying in the right position. Let's put together this belt clip and recorder and have a closer look. On the front panel, as you can see over here, we've got 1.2 inch monochrome LCD display with, I dare to say, beautiful blue backlight. It has several positions, including continuously on. Around display on front panel, we can find different knobs, which could play different roles in different situations of settings. We go further with our menu settings. As you can see here, it has very simple level adjustment from double minus minimal to double plus maximum and auto level. It's very simple but works well. When auto is on, it takes a couple of seconds to bring volume down to minus six. It could be very useful in certain situations.
You can also change limiter and low cut settings directly from the front panel knobs in default recording menu. This device also could be used as external USB audio interface and headphones amplifier. It's a plug and play device. It could work on own batteries or see power from a PC. Little nice touch, you can buy other colors of windshield from Zoom. So it could be slightly hidden in clothes during recording sessions. You can see here F1 LP completely assembled and ready to use. So it's time to give it a proper testing. Here I've got XYH6. One of the nicest things about this particular cup show is the ability to rotate its microphone. You can choose between wide 120 or narrower 90 degree stereo scene for your recordings. In case of connected cup show, volume can be adjusted through the rotating knob. Here you can see F1 SP in its full glory with connected shotgun cup show. In my opinion, it makes very nice, small and easy-going Pro Audio Recorder with capsule connected. You can take it anywhere with very small effort. So let's put it all together. It seems to be very easy assembly. and connect it to the camera. XYH6 is a very sensitive condenser microphone capsule. I would recommend to use it with windshield in all situations when outside. And now you can see how it looks when the lavalier microphone connected. This combination is very useful for people who are busy with recording interviews or vlogs. SMF1 mount could be also used when mounted on a tripod. As I already said earlier, you can connect different capsules to F1. Not only microphone, but also XLR input like this EXH6 XLR TRS stereo in. This device will switch automatically to the source of energy during long recording sessions. So if your battery run low, you can connect external 5 volt power bank for example, and it will automatically switch over to the power bank as a power source. It actually can literally run for days.
Besides recording audio from microphone, F1 also works perfectly as Pro Audio PCM recorder. Could be very useful for people wanted to record just an audio stream from any source. Another high quality product from Zoom, which is basically does it all and does it all very good. I recorded audio to my videos with F1 XYH6 assembly. All my recordings were very clean with white, very detailed audio. You can check out a little piece I recorded right here. I understand that it could be difficult to judge audio from this little piece through YouTube video, but I believe you can get the right impression from it. I've used this recorder for several months and have to say that I always was very happy with the results. It's extremely reliable, sturdy, real pro quality, very versatile audio device which, in my opinion, has no rivals at modern-day pro audio hardware market. Its modularity, quality and versatility make it an absolute winner. Thank you for joining in. Thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe and see you all next time.